Hi everyone, this is Breathe for Now Art here. Just to let you know, I am an ordinary tween girl who is addicted to nail polish. Here on this channel, you'll find a wide range of nail art tutorials. Today, I'll show you the equipment that I'll use the most, and you can find the product's name down below in the description box. Now, this is an item I'll use in every tutorial. It is Revlon's base coat. A base coat protects your nails from getting damaged. It is L'Oreal Paris' top coat. This seals your design and prevents it from chipping so it can last longer. You won't see me using this in my tutorials, but I would strongly recommend using this when you're not wearing a fab design. OPR's Natural Nail Strengthener is a great product to strengthen your nails. I like to put this on during the school term so they're all looking nice and pretty for when I decide to do a fun design on my nail. Tool is a great tool if you are doing nail art. Majority of the dotting tools have two sides, one for smaller dots and the other for large dots. This is a great device for making circles or eyes on your nail. Nail art pens come in very handy when doing nail art. You can get them in various colours, but in my tutorial, if I'm using a nail art pen, it'll be a black one. It's like a pen you use to write, but it's used for your nail. Here's what I use to protect my carpet. I use my tarpaulin to put on my nail polish glitters, tools, and any other equipment that I've decided to use. I use newspaper on top of the tarpaulin for extra protection. I put the hand which I'm doing the design on the newspaper. This is also a way to reduce, reuse and recycle. When painting my nails, I make sure that I've got fresh air circulating through the room to keep the chemicals out. I also make sure all the windows are open. This can also be used to dry your nails. Stay tuned for funky nail art tutorials. Feel free to suggest a design down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time at Breathe for Nail Art.